How you doing, YouTubers? Jerry here. I just got an email. And, uh, basically a guy was explaining, uh, he was trying to use a Yagi antenna for the Chester County system. And to me, that's not a very good antenna. Uh, I purchased one of them, uh, from a company. Uh, they actually sent me two of them. I got one for free. I don't even know how that happened. It's in the basement, brand new, still in the box. But, uh, the other Yagi antenna, as you've seen in my other previous videos, is out on the pole. It's out on the mast outside. And, uh, right now in the Chester County system, I'm currently running both antennas. I'm running the Yagi along with the uh, the Mars, the antenna that's on top there, and it's actually pulling in everything pretty good. And uh, just for uh, his little email that he sent me, it's uh, the Mars antenna. It is uh, basically, I found out it's an all-band antenna. It's not 768 by whatever, uh, 890 or something like that, megahertz. It's an all-band antenna. Uh, it's the same one that uh, the Chester County uses on their uh, on their buildings to receive the uh, P25 system. Uh, it's the same one that's down on top of the police station here in Parksburg. And uh, similar to the ones that's on Station 8 on the firehouse, right there on the side of that, on that tower they have there. Uh, it's similar to one of the ones they have there. And uh, that is for the new P25 system as well. And uh, as for the uh, Yagi antennas... You basically have to get that pointing in a direction to where you don't lose any any signal bars on your scanner. Uh, when you're looking at your scanner, and uh, right over top of your uh, your county name or whatever you have in there, um, whatever might be on there at the time. Right now, mine says Chester County, and it says ID scan under it. And right over top where it says Chester County, it has little bars that's flashing. Uh, that is actually your signal strength to your uh, control channel. And uh, I took notice to where I was adjusting my Yagi antenna before I got this new one, the one that's on top there, that Mars antenna. Uh, if I would move it just a little bit more towards the west, facing it in a west, uh, more western uh, part of the sky, uh, I would start losing bars there. Like, I would... Uh, the control channel. Would, sometimes I'd even lose the control channel, and then it come back, and then it would jump back and forth. But uh, if I move the uh, the Yagi over just a little bit more, it would just bring everything right back in again. So them antennas are real finicky uh, when it comes to pulling in, uh, I guess a P25 Phase Two system like that. So I would go with an Omni directional antenna. Just uh, I think they use a. VSWR at 1.75.1 or some crap like that. Uh, you just got to try and find your uh, VSWR somewhere right in there. Uh, that's what I did. I, I matched the same antenna that, that Chester County uses on most of their uh, most of their base equipment. And uh, basically, when I did that, everything's coming in good now. Although I am still using the Yagi, um, I didn't move it or nothing. It's still pointing in the same direction it was when I was using it before before I got this antenna. But uh, basically, it's just pulling everything in from everywhere around me now. So I don't have to worry about moving it. Uh, there with that Yagi antenna there for a while, I would have to... Uh, I was listening to my feed on my phone, and uh, every once in a while, you'd hear it get like real choppy. And then I'd go out and just turn the antenna a little bit more to the left. You know, a little bit more to the west, I mean. And then it would be fine. And also, I took notice when the control channels change... Right now it's on 769.5312. Uh, that channel's okay. Now once that switches to a different... Once that changes to a different uh, channel, control channel, you may start noticing a difference in the way your scanner sounds uh, also. Uh, it might receive a little different. Uh, you might start losing uh, control channel bars uh, with an omnidirectional antenna. I don't think you really have to worry about that. The control channel hasn't changed uh, since I've redone my uh, my antenna system outside, so uh, we'll find out what happens when that when that happens. But uh, the control channels change every 24 to 48 hours or something like that for Chester County. I don't know why they have it like that, but I guess they do. I guess to keep everything from getting heated up. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with the control channel change every 24 to 48 hours, but it is. I, I don't really don't care, but I find it's probably some other people find it ridiculous. Uh, if you're running in one of these little, hold on, I'll show you. 
especially on now this right this antenna right here came with my scanner it's a telescopic antenna with a bnc end on it this came with my scanner when i bought it and uh this is not very good for running trying to pull in a p25 system um because it's thin uh the signals just bounce around it um it is totally you know you can adjust it you know to where wherever you need it you know that came with that uh most portable scanners like uh this one right here this is a radio shack antenna here it says 800 megahertz right on it but it will work for this system um i've also i have a female connector the same one i hook my antennas up with and what i did is i uh, stood that straight up like this and stuck this and put, put it on top of it and uh, it will it will pick up off of this it is, this is a pretty good antenna for that so it's, it's a heck of a lot better than that telescopic antenna so if you want to go out to radio shack and grab one of those if you don't have an outside antenna or access to an outside antenna to put one up uh those little rubby du rubber ducky antenna will do the trick the one is the one you get at radio shack has 800 megahertz on it that's the one you would want and then just find one of those little uh bnc connectors it kind of looks like a t uh just so, just so you can hook like two antennas up to a scanner if you want um even for the base this little rubber duck antenna for that little with that little connection would work uh it would actually pull in a lot better than that little uh telescopic antenna that you get with it and uh I know the BCD 436HP comes with a rubber duck antenna. Um, so does a couple of the, uh, what is that, uh, Home Patrols. I think they come with rubber duck antennas now too, which are, uh, they're okay for when you're first buying the scanner. Uh, you can go on like eBay or Amazon. You can actually upgrade your, uh, your antennas to a better antenna. Now you just have to go in there and search. And, uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I wouldn't use, back to this email that I got, I wouldn't use the Yagi antenna. Go for an omnidirectional antenna. And uh, the name of the place where I got my antenna, let me get that. I have it on my uh, on my feed website also. Uh, go under uh, broadcastify.com. Click on U.S., Pennsylvania, Chester County. It's called Chester County Police Fire and EMS. You click on that. Uh, it's going to bring up the name. Harris, Sapco P25, Phase 2 Radio System Harris. And my a picture of my antenna. And then right underneath the picture of my antenna, it'll say Wincom Antenna Technologies. Click on that. And somewhere in here, this is where I got my antenna from. I uh, just had to match up all the... All the char characteristics of it. I just had to do all that. Uh, did a little bit of math. Uh, for that VSWR and everything that they're using, uh, trying to kind of had to split that with the antenna that I'm trying to buy. But then again, there is one antenna in here that's like a thousand dollars, and I ain't, I'm not paying that much just for you know my scanner. <laughs> my wife would kill me. And uh, if you go under, just don't you got you kind of have to look for. If you think over here on the left of the page, manufacturers. And you can usually find, or actually just go ahead and click right here. Right on the screen, it says omnidirectional. And if you scroll down, it should bring up every kind of omni, omni antenna that they have. Now, a lot of these omni antennas are going to say that they're for Wi-Fi, uh, 6 dBi, 5 gigahertz. Uh, I, I really wouldn't mess with that. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if that would actually work. Uh, now this one here that I'm looking at is an 824 to 896 megahertz fiberglass omnidirectional antenna. That may actually work. Who knows? You know, you just have to find a. You have to go in here, click on it, go down, uh, find the VSWR, and just kind of. Uh... Yeah, see, this antenna right here is 144 dollars. Now the antenna I bought. I can't really explain too much about it because I got it on a special deal uh, due to county copyright. <laughs> I can't really talk about it. Um, yeah, even if you ask somebody, they're gonna tell you, they're gonna tell you I don't know uh, where he got that antenna at. 
although the guy you're talking to, I might have bought it from him, and he works for county. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's how far that goes. And uh, he knows what I do. He knows what I've been doing since 2009. I've been doing this audio feed on Radio Reference. Well, yeah, Radio Reference and Broadcastify. Um, I help with scanner frequencies, uh, updates, all kinds of stuff like that uh, for the websites. Uh, whenever new information comes in, if I have it, and then I give it to him, then he puts it on there. And he may just already have it, you know, match it with mine to see if it matches up. If not, then he'll just go ahead and put it on the website. But uh, we do a lot of things together for uh, Radio Reference and Broadcastify. And uh, broadcasting the feed uh, just so we can keep it going. And uh, I hope that answers your question. Don't use a Yagi antenna for this Chester County P25 system. Use an omnidirectional. Just make sure you get the uh, the right kind of antenna. And uh, don't be don't just go in there and grab any kind of omnidirectional, or otherwise you're gonna be like, what the hell? If you're spending like nine hundred dollars on it, that's a little too much. All right, YouTubers, have a nice day.